people have to live in, in unity. We are still in transition. Civil society has been decimated. Of course we rely on media. And I think the government has not done enough. The international community has failed to respond. No place in the world is perfect. I'm your host Uzma Jafri with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show. The Indian Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar visited the United States this week. The visit that comprised the minister meeting the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and the US Secretary of State Antony Blinken emphasized at endeavoring to enhance bilateral trade and strategic cooperation. Of late, the two sides have shown an increased cooperation at both bilateral and multilateral level, which many observers see as strong potential alliance of future. Indian government has reiterated its position on global issues. Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar, while meeting the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, said it stood firm on the global issues of climate change, the menace of terrorism and the COVID-19 pandemic. The statement came on the sidelines of his visit to the United States. J. Shankar also held multiple meetings with prominent US personalities aimed at furthering the agenda to bring closer two sides at different fronts. Jay Shankar said that the outline of the two sides' principled relationship can fructify into a comprehensive alliance with the convergence of few ideas. When it comes to the big issues of our day, uh, maybe because we are pluralistic societies, uh, because we are political democracies, uh, because we are market economies, uh, that we, we have fundamental uh, convergences, convergences which are societal convergences which are geopolitical uh, and I think uh, the challenge before us is how to translate those convergences into actionable policies. Apart from a robust trade relationship, both New Delhi and Washington have expanded their terms of engagement to a more strategic alliance in past few years. The two have come even closer with the collective interests of keeping the Indo-Pacific and, by and large, the entire world safe. The two sides also have converging interests on issues of terrorism. While India has been a victim of Pak-sponsored terrorism for decades, the US too has acknowledged it. On our side, there's been clarity of thinking. And the clarity of thinking is that we cannot accept terrorism. We cannot accept that it is in any way legitimate uh, as, as, as diplomacy or as any other uh, aspect of uh, state. Observers say that maritime security and war against COVID can be won more assertively with Washington and Delhi joining hands. And in the growing multipolar world, India and the US are also at the center of evolving trade and business dynamics. Observers believe that they not only need each other for their own resurgence and growth after the COVID damages, but the entire world needs their collaborative might to head towards a better future. Moving on. After enduring a severe cyclone, Taute, on its west coast previous week, India had one more this week, the cyclone Yas, on its east coast. While the government's preemptive efforts and extensive evacuation exercises prevented casualties, millions of people living off the coastal states have been affected. While tens of thousands have been displaced, others have lost everything from their home to food and means of employment. Trees and electric poles were downed, water bodies swelled to flood in several districts and hundreds of thousands of people were forced to leave their homes as wind gusts of up to 140 km per hour struck the eastern coast of India on Wednesday. Cyclone Yas, the second major storm to hit the country in a span of less than two weeks, displaced over two million people and left hundreds of thousands others stranded post its landfall. 
the rescue operations were in full swing as majority of them were transported to safe areas. Airports have been shut and the shipping operations have been suspended for a few days. Authorities say they have managed to save almost all of them and will reach out to every person in distress. Natural Disaster Response Force or NDRF personnel and Regional Rapid Action Forces use boats to evacuate people stranded amid soil and water bodies in the hinterland. Three teams are coming from the air and one team is coming from the air. हम अभी मैंने सब जगह जगह हम मैंने आगे पहले रोड क्लियर कर रहे हैं उसके बाद हम जो ब्रांच रोड की मेन रोड क्लियर कर रहे हैं उसके बाद बार ब्रांच रोड क्लियर करेंगे अभी हमको खबर मिला है कि एक पेशेंट है डेलीवर पेशेंट है इधर हम उसको रेस्क्यू करने के लिए जा रहे थे The Indian Peninsula has increasingly been affected by storm and has seen around 170 of them in last half century the fourth highest after the United States, the Philippines and China. Indian coastline is witnessing an average of five cyclones in a year for over a century. Four of them originated in the Bay of Bengal and one over the Arabian Sea. In terms of frequency and intensity, the Bay of Bengal is a more active basin than the Arabian Sea. It has seen 12 cyclonic storms in last four years. And with the increasing frequency of cyclones, the governments too have equipped themselves to handle the recurring crisis. NDRF is always the motto of Aapada Seva Sadev Sarvada. We are ready for our team. हर तरह की इक्विपमेंट से लैस है हमारे जितने भी रेस्क्यूअर्स हैं सभी मेडिकल फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डर हैं ट्रेन हैं हमारे पास हर तरह के कटिंग इक्विपमेंट्स हैं और पोस्ट डिजास्टर में जो रेस्क्यू और रिलीफ में जिस तरह का भी रोल हमने अदा करना उसके लिए हम बिल्कुल तैयार हैं This year too, the administration had made appropriate arrangements after the cyclone Taute. The deadliest in over two decades that wreaked havoc along India's western coast and claimed dozens of lives. The NDRF had deployed nearly 100 teams and armed forces were asked to remain on standby to assist with rescue and relief operations. While countries around the world are putting in their might and resources in tackling the pandemic, the Himalayan nation Nepal is faced with dual challenge of a crumbling health infrastructure amid record COVID infections and a political imbroglio that is not appearing to die down anytime soon. The elections have been announced amid country's desperate call for vaccines. KP Sharma Oli, the caretaker PM who is at the hem of country's all affairs, is hopeful but any substantial help from potential suppliers appears unlikely owing to the crisis in their own backyard. Have a look. The acting Prime Minister of Nepal, KP Sharma Oli, has backed the presidential move of holding fresh elections. The move has been criticized by a section of society and the opposition, which has even gone to the Supreme Court accusing President Bidya Devi Bhandari of working in cahoots with the Oli faction. Recently, while holding a presser with the national and international media, Oli defended the move, saying it was incumbent upon the representatives to go through the test of the electorate and it had become absolutely necessary to hold elections amid continuous political chaos in the country. जनता लाई पार्टी और का दौर और का नेता और का काम का आपना प्रतिनिधि का काम का मूल्यांकन वर्ग जनता लाई मतलब क्यों मूल्यांकन वर्ग निष्कर्ष है जनता लाई चुनाव ना चुनाव को माध्यम बाद वोट को माध्यम बाद क्यों मूल्यांकन रहा अभी मत जनता लिस्ट आज आदेश भी जो जनता लिस्ट क्यों केस पर नजाने र और देश में अशुष्ट खेल में आना, 
ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਲ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਯਾਸ ਹੈ ਯੋਗ ਰਾਹ ਲੈ ਆਵੇ and this all has big steam at a time when the country is reeling under a severe second wave of the covid-19 pandemic from vaccines to oxygen beds to medicines the country is running out of everything its ally and neighbor india which played a key role in country's launch of the vaccination drive has been forced to freeze its supply owing to record cases in its own backyard The country of 30 million needs 40 million doses. So far with a combined supply from India and China, it has received 3 million doses. A few thousands more are likely to come in the next few weeks. Other than that, Nepal hasn't had any other forms of commercial or other deals, but Oli says he's confident that he would inoculate most of them by November. कोविड उन्नाइस को महामारी जो तह में जो लेवल में छो नोवेबर में पूरा इस स्थिति में रहना हम भैक्सिन लिया सकता खोप लगाई सकता यो स्थिति कायम रहते हैं अ स्थिति देखा छ महीना पशी को स्थिति को चुनाव लाई भयावह बना खोजो तो ठीक रहा फेरी भी वैक्सीन लियाने लगायत का काम कोविड विरुद्ध का लड़ाई में केन्द्र होना नदी खुट्टा ताने अल्जाने जो प्रयास भैर ये उचित हो Meanwhile PM Oli has also ruled out the possibilities of holding the elections in the regions it staked claims on a few months ago. Although the reasons behind Kathmandu's aggressive posture could not be substantiated with many observers pointing towards a Beijing hand, Nepal had called three Indian districts as its own. It has even passed a parliamentary resolution for that. However, in a peaceful turn of events, it has now said that two sides should resolve the issue through dialogue and deliberation. And now in our section of Asia this week, the stories from across the continent that made news this week. After six days of ranging fire in container ship of Sri Lankan coast, the authorities said they had managed to douse off the fire with the help of Indian Coast Guard. A military helicopter had been deployed to drop fire retardant and Coast Guard ships from the two countries had sprayed it with seawater to bring the blaze under control. Hundreds of soldiers were deployed in a major cleanup operation of dozens of miles of beach. The Marine Environment Protection Authority has lodged a complaint with the police to take legal action against the captain of the ship MV Express Pearl. Myanmar's deposed leader Aung San Suu Kyi appeared in person at a court hearing on the first time since a government was overthrown by the military nearly 4 months ago. Her legal team head Kim Mong Zo said Suu Kyi looked in good health during a 30-minute meeting with a legal team but said she had no access to newspapers during detention and was only partially aware of what was happening outside. The outset leader who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 offer efforts to build democracies among more than 4000 people detained since the February 1 coup. She faces charges that range from illegally possessing walkie-talkie radios to violating a state secrets law punishable by 14 years in prison. regular supply of high quality seeds necessary for healthy vegetations and high yields one such seed company which producing high yielding variety of seeds is taki seeds it waited in kyoto japan products of taki seed are famous in japan and other countries of the world the seeds and seedlings developed by taki seed are of high quality developed through research for providing supplies These seeds are sent to quality control centers in different regions around the world to inspect their growth and their respective breeding environments. In recent years, rapid inspection has become possible by using AI technology. Taneが、しっかりとですね、発芽する種であるということ。
それから病気が全くついてない無病の種であるということ取れてきた種がですねその品種の特徴をしっかり持っているあの純度の高い種であるといったところその蜜をですねこちらの品質管理センターでですね検査してで間違いのない種を出していくといったところで仕事をしております。Darky Seed nurtures the seed from its germination to seedling stage, which are inspected for higher quality standards. Founded in the year 1835, the company started selling seeds through delivery and has expanded business in Japan and other countries, thus, contributing to the agriculture sector around the world. Hey, Shaw, this is a Nagarin in Watari Maste, and Nihon de Kai Hatusta, Yulio no Hin Shu, and Sekai Kakok in Tekyo Ste Marimasta. ベトナムの話なんですけども雨が多く降る時期雨の中でもしっかり育ってで病気が発生する時にもその病気にしっかり打ち勝つ品種をご提案することによって年中栽培ができるようになりまして農家さんがこれまでは1年に半分しか取れなかったものが単純に倍農家の皆さんのお力になれたのかなというふうに感じておりますスローガンといたしましてはグローバルにローカルにっていうものもありましてまあ、グローバルにやりながらも実質やることはローカルなことに特化するように心がけております。These scenes were witnessed at an educational expo in Tokyo. A concept of GIGA, Global and Innovation Gateway for All School, is a new one in Japan which plans to provide a personal computer to each student and a high speed network environment for students. The objective of this concept is to tailor education according to the needs and interests of every child. This is an electronic blackboard where the manufacturers are performing calculations. In it, the teacher can display the normal calculation method and the previously prepared calculation formula and compare the differences between two calculation formulas. なんでこうなってるかって結構日本人聞きたがるのでそれはこういうあの意味を持ってできてますよというのをデータとか取っておいたりとかです、ね、先生があの以前作ったコンテンツとかがそのまま一応使えたりとかをするということも一応可能になっております。The impact of coronavirus is changing the style and methods of education in Japan. Video classes and visuals teachers are gaining popularity. その環境下で半年経ったら大体の方が皆さん配信はできるようになったんですね。その後のことでいうと今度は配信ができたのでどうやったらその学びの質を上げられる配信ができるかとか。最近ですと生徒の半分は教室にいて半分は配信をするとかっていう両方こう同時にやる必要が出てくるということでの、えー、質問ですとかご相談は非常に増えてます。This smartphone application is for better connectivity. With the help of this application, students can talk virtually and plan an event. コロナ禍において。学生さんが大学に来れないとでそういう中でそのコミュニ友達とのコミュニケーションが全く取れないで学校に行かないから家でその課題に追われる日々でそういうものについて次世代のキャンパスライフを提供したいと。Education in Japan is changing due to technological advancement and is improving the quality of education with each passing day. Moving on to our cultural section, we take you to different Indian states where Buddhists celebrated Buddha Purnima or Buddha Jayanti with religious fervor. The festival marks Gautam Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and death. It is the most sacred festival for the Buddhist community but is also celebrated by people of different faiths in India and abroad. Have a look. Buddha Jayanti or Buddha Purnima was celebrated by Buddhist communities across India during the full moon in May as the Day of Enlightenment. 
the followers of Buddha have for ages been in awe by the simplicity in his teachings and his emphasis on equality. Every year, the auspicious festival of Buddha Purnima is celebrated with grandeur worldwide, including in neighboring Sri Lanka. However, amid the threat of coronavirus, the festival was marked in a somber note. पहले करीबन ढाई तीन लाख आदमी इस समारोह में शामिल होता था खास करके महाराष्ट्र उत्तर प्रदेश दिल्ली अरुणाचल प्रदेश और विश्व के भी सभी वियतनाम थाईलैंड कम्बोडिया बर्मा श्रीलंका ये सभी कंट्रियों के लोग शामिल होते थे लेकिन इस साल ये शामिल नहीं हो पा रहे हैं उनको यहाँ से उनको लाइव प्रसारण दिखाने का कार्यक्रम किया गया है वो अपने देश में बैठ और सकुशल ये भगवान बुद्ध का दर्शन करेंगे बोध गया इज इन द इंडियन स्टेट ऑफ बिहार वेर द फेमस महाबोधि टेम्पल इज लोकेटेड एंड इज अ फेमस यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट इट इज अ प्लेस वेर गौतम ऑफ बुद्ध इज सेट टू हैव अटेन एनलाइटनमेंट सम 2500 थाउजेंड इयर्स अगो अंडर अ सेग्रेट फीक ट्री एंड वट बिकेम नोन एज द बोधि ट्री In Prayagraj city of Uttar Pradesh devotees took a holy dip in the rivers to mark the revocation of Buddha Purnima and performed rituals they believe in the teachings of Lord Buddha which is solely to liberate human beings from the miseries and sufferings of life Buddha Purnima nahane se aapke pitra vagaira jo hote hain sab wo matlab swarg ki prapti unko hoti hai उसके बाद और बहुत सारे मतलब दान पूर्ण यहाँ होता है दान पूर्ण करने से आपके मतलब पुनर्जन्म के से जो कष्ट होते हैं सब दूर हो जाते हैं और परिवार भरा पूरा रहता है सिमिलर सीन्स वर विटनेस्ड इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन अगरतला सिटी वेर बुद्ध दे सेलिब्रेटेड द फेस्टिवल ऑफ बुद्ध पूर्णिमा अमित द कोविड नाइन्टीन कर्फ्यू Along with the Buddhist devotees from other religion also performed special morning mass prayers at the monasteries and prayed for peace and safety of the world from coronavirus. Since last year actually due to due to this pandemic this uh, Buddha Purnima has not been celebrating in a befitting manner. Previously you might have observed that in, on the occasion of Buddha Purnima there is a big mela here around this uh, Buddha Mandir but since last year due to pandemic it is stopped this year also it is stopped because of pandemic The celebration of Buddha Purnima reflects India's diversity of rich cultural heritage Around 8.5 million Buddhist people live in India A majority of them are settled in different regions including Dharamsala, Ladakh, Karnataka and Arunachal Pradesh. The arrival of 14 Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama with over 85,000 Tibetan refugees in 1959 had a significant impact on the revival of Buddhism in India. Buddha Purnima celebrations include praying with the purest of feelings and adopting what Buddhism stands for peace non-violence and harmony among people with that we come to the end of this week's episode see you next week goodbye and take care subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button